The idea of a common North American dollar is something that's been kicked around for a number of years. And recently, former Mexican President Vicente Fox predicted that all the countries in the Americas would have a common currency, much like the euro. There may be some pros and cons, but also, is there a sovereignty issue? Our question, what are your thoughts on a common North American currency? That would be, I think, tough to implement. Um, having the common cur currency would make trade um, easily, more easily understood um, by people that um, don't recognize the difference between the Canadian dollar and the U.S. dollar. They're still dollars, but they're different. Um, so. But I still think no. I think we should keep the Canadian dollar because it's the Canadian dollar. Because I think in the end it would be us that would be expected to change. I think that it is inevitable over a period of time. Um, we always get into this question when our currency strengthens. Purchase price parity on the Canadian dollar is around 83, 85 cents. Uh, I think in the long term it would probably be beneficial for Canada. Oh, I think it's a good idea, but I don't think the United States would go for it. Uh, they're not going to get rid of their U.S. greenback, uh, but I do think economically it would be a good idea. It would streamline a lot of things, but it's not going to happen. So. I don't agree with the common North American currency right now. Um, I believe that uh, it, it, it leads more towards the free trade and and, and the the more powerful country such as the United States is going to be dictating the, the currency and dictating policy in regards to that and I think our sovereignty is more important than having a, a single co currency. I, I just think that there would be um, there would be less competition between the countries currency wise that way because everything would um, I don't know I just saw it in Europe and it just seemed to be working well there and I don't know why it seems to be working it just is. I don't think they should do that. Um, I think the dollar should, we should keep the loony. Um, uh, currency is kind of an indicator of a, the nationality of a, a country and it, we should keep our own independent currency, I think. Ah, uh, the common North American currency. I think why our dollar bill is different because our values are different in Canada and the U.S. It just, you know, the soul of Canada just isn't that of the U.S. I think we are different. Of course, we share the continent. We're all Americans, but, uh, you know, on the continent. But, no, our values are different, so I think our dollar bill... Do you think it would be an advantage? I think that Canadians should... Uh should stay the Canadian currency because just then it starts leading into a lot of trading between the countries and uh, just sort of, I don't know, it become all one big North American country it would seem then and I like Canada being Canada and just everywhere else being everywhere else. <laughs> Classified as North Americans and I think it would be a good thing if we kept it on a par. I'd like to see that actually. Like to see I uh, to, well, I mean, look what your, uh, the euro dollar has done for Europe. Now, that doesn't sound like it would work for me. I, I tend to think that even though we're very closely related to the United States, um, I think that's one area where we should, we should keep our distinctiveness as far as currency. Um, again, uh, I just think that, that we need more nationalism. We need a, to be more an independent country. You know, when people have no jobs and people are losing jobs and the economy is getting poor and stuff like that, I think that people would, would if they saw an advantage, you know, an, an economic advantage of having something, uh, of, you, of being unionized, not unionized, but being together, you know, like all the uh, American, North American, South American uh, nations having a common currency, that might be uh, an incentive because then we would be stronger. So I think people would, you know, they, they might still like the loonie. And I think that when, it, uh, when the, the euro came up, that was an issue for, for the people that's of Europe. And I think they, they kind of got over it. And that might be the same for us because I think, you know, we've got to look at economy and jobs and that. I haven't given it much thought, um, but, uh, you know, I guess that's something that's up for debate and consideration now that we've strengthened our dollar again. And, uh, um, 
who knows? Uh, it, it probably has its pros and cons, but quite frankly, I just haven't really thought of it. I don't think I like that. I don't think having a Canadian currency. Yeah. Yeah, I think we to keep a Canadian identity. I think. Yeah. Um, now that the dollar's worth more than the U.S. dollar, why change it? Yeah, well, I'm against that. Um, I think what's been going on with the United States, the subprime mortgage situation, um, all of that, the fluctuations in the dollar, um, no. I think I'd like us to keep our Canadian dollar. I think that's important. No. I think, I think it would end up being a form of the U.S. dollar driven by the U.S. Uh, with Canada and Mexico basically bullied around. Uh, it would not be like the EU where you have a number of countries of equal size and more or less equal economic power when you have one massive giant in the, in the midst. He's going to be the main force and so I think that Canada and Mexico would suffer under such an arrangement. The Amero is um I would, I would give the, the, the money issuing power back to the people from the Bank of Canada and, and just uh, keep it away from the uh, banks altogether, whether they're the Mer Mexican, Canadian, American banks. The, the fundamental reality is that the money supply is being issued by a private institution and they're getting the, the equitable benefit of it when the government all they have to say is no you gotta have hundred percent reserves against whatever loans you create and in so doing the government the bank of canada gets credit and there would be no need to collect taxes 